Hello folks, today we have a quick video review from Inkdependence.com of Namiki's Blue. Uh, I've heard recently that the, Nam the Namiki brand is going to be rolled into a Pilot Find Writing or something brand by Pilot very soon, so maybe we won't have Namiki branded things anymore, I don't know, let's see how that goes. Uh, this blue is actually quite a bit better than I thought it was going to be. I had it in my little Kaveco Sport, which is uh, this little guy, if you're one of the few people left that hasn't tried out one of these uh, adorable little pocket pens, you really should. Uh, I've already unscrewed this one. It's got a screw on top, which actually kind of needs to be cleaned quite a bit now that I'm looking at it. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, it's in this medium nib, which is a, uh, I don't know, medium wettish sort of nib. It's really nice. Uh, it performs pretty well just about every ink I've tried in it, and it goes in my pocket pretty constantly. So check out that pen if you haven't had a chance. Um, this ink does shade a little bit. You can see here... A uh, bit even here in just the regular old text. This is, of course, Rhodia dot pad, so it's got this uh, coated paper, and it does tend to show off more shading than usual, but I did see shading uh, fairly often anyway. Uh, it actually did the... Uh, sometimes I get squirrely and do dry times. This one has an 8-second dry time on Rhodia. Pretty darn good, actually, for a pretty wet ink. Uh, I have it up here as medium wet. Eh, seems good. Um, it does bleed just a little bit on some papers, not on this one, of course, if you look at the back of... This one you see nothing, but that's Rhodia for you. That's almost magic. Uh, it does have a little bit of uh, uh, spread, and I really haven't seen any feathering. It doesn't seem to feather, so it keeps itself together even though it does spread just a touch. Uh, that's probably because it's wet, and uh, I've had it on papers that kind of don't let it soak in immediately, so that's pretty good. It's a medium light blue, as you can see here from the swatch, the smear here, but if you look just in here, you'll see a bit of... Um, uh, I don't know, kind of a dark purple, real dark blue sheen to it. It's pretty nice. I kind of like this ink more than I thought I was going to anyway, for just being a regular old stock blue. Excuse me, Mr. Kitty Cat, I don't really need your help. This is Jack. He's a cat. He's investigating all of my doings. Let's take it down, buddy. Oh, he's a very heavy cat. He's about 16 pounds. Okay, now back to business. Oh, <laughs> goodness. Uh, for being so big, he is sneaky. All right, here you go. See it compared to some other stuff. <laughs> Get out of here, Mr. Jack Hair. Look at that. Goodness. Uh, I've had it here next to a couple other blues. Turquoise from Landing, which I actually liked quite a lot. Uh, and a blue varsity pen. I didn't really have any blues. And, of course, Ebony Blue, which is more like a really dark turquoise than a blue, I think. So anyway, here we go. Let's see if this is um, waterproof. Well, not going to be waterproof at all. <laughs> I imagine it'll be uh, not even water resistant. So let's see what happens here. Shoot some ink on there with my trusty syringe. You see, I don't use a blunt syringe. I got this from my wife. She does science, so it is pointy, and I do have to be a little bit extra careful. But uh, if you haven't got a syringe out there with a blunt needle, man, you need to do that, because that is the best way to fill up most of these fountain pens. All right, so as that sits there, you can see it beat up on the Rhodia. I said it was uh, coated, and you can totally see that going on there. Of course, you probably already had Rhodia pads of your own if you're into fountain pens and ink. And I'll wipe it away, and actually, surprisingly... Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, let me finish wiping here and then we'll focus in a little bit better. Um, yeah, you see a little bit feathering away. You can see some of the blue has come off. Actually, if you look at my paper towel here, you can see a little bit of a blue smudge, but having uh, ink sitting there on this paper on Rhodia, nonetheless, pretty good, actually. I'm kind of shocked. So, there you go. That's cool. Um, maybe I'll test it with some other stuff if I get a chance, but water resistant? Yeah, a little bit, it turns out. So there you go. That's Namiki Blue. Check that out. Uh